Hello guys, uh, this is Shiraz from Integration IT. Uh, so I'm back with a new video on Avaya ACCS, Avaya Contact Center Select uh, uh, video. Uh, as you can, as you know, previously I have installed the Avaya ACCS. I have gone through step by step what exactly you need in order to uh, complete the ACCS installation. So uh, this is my ACCS now as you can see after applying the license and all the configuration all of my ACCS services are up and running you can see all of them are green and this is uh, the ser services uh, regards to uh, the ACCS now we need to see uh, whether the link between the ACCS and the and the Avaya IP office is it up or not how we can confirm that is if we can open your dashboard you go to the SIP gateway the SIP uh, connectivity it will ask you the uh, local ACCS IP you just click connect and if you can see uh, my CTI and the voice outbound proxy link is up that's mean for the inbound and outbound my link is is up and running and and we should have a proper synchronization and the connection between the ACCS and and IP office so uh, before starting the video I had an uh, issue that my CTI proxy was showing disconnected was showing not connected so the reason behind that is my in my server configuration which you have which you do uh, during the ignition uh, visit uh, this was the reason my my link was was not connected uh, the CTI proxy was not connected uh, because the password I entered here was wrong so I had to go back into my IP office and confirm what is the IP address or I need to reset the password just to make sure I have uh, accurate password here so my, can, so my link can be up uh, so this is the the two components we always check to make sure our connectivity and the services are are properly configured and are connected very well so uh, want to exit, yeah. so after that what exactly I did so the reason behind I am uploading this video uh, just to make sure uh, just to quickly uh, make sure that everything is up and running and properly configured so we can uh, we can go and start doing our test calls for the for the call center so what exactly I I did is I I quickly went to my uh, my ACCS uh, CCMA I logged in through web and I just quickly logged in here just username password is same and so just to make sure or just to make a quick call the first thing you need to make sure your your CDN is acquired uh, this is a sample CDN which during the installation it asked us to or it defined the uh, the default sample CDN which is acquired and if I can quickly show you my IP office here uh, if you go to the short codes I have my my CDN configured for the this is a SIP extension which we used uh, which we used which we used for the which we are using right now for the SIP connectivity between the ACCS and the and the uh, ACCS and the IP office so what happens is when you call 3000 
it takes my call to the SIP extension which is 6000 and then it goes to our our uh, ACCS IVR which I will just quickly gonna show you so this is the first thing I configured and make sure in the media server and routes you have both are acquired here on the right side and uh, on the media server it has to be acquired so we are doing the via or a media server acquired here I mean which we will use for the content store uh, like welcome messages and all all this stuff and and going back to the our contact center management we need to make sure our agents are there this is our uh, our sample agents which was which was configured at the time of the installation so we apparently have I think 10, 10 agents uh, just to cross check yeah 10 agents 5 for the sample 1 5 for the sample 2 and I just picked my own agent so this is the agent I did myself Come on. And I have my agent ID, I use a name, the agent ID is here and this is the SIP address for my agent ID, voice URI and secondly I acquired, I assigned two sample skill set which is, which is by default is there, it's a skill 1 and the skill 2 and then I only assigned him for the voice contact type and then what I did is I submit and one of my agent I mean the agent one is ready uh, to be logged in and before I logged into the agent the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the scripting uh, as you can remember we have our CDN 3000 available so what I did I just launched the the orchestration designer for the scripting and it will quickly gonna uh, launch the orchestration orchestration designer and it will connect to the CCMA and CCMS just probably gonna take uh, less than a minute even more faster okay so the good thing in uh, in ACCS 7.0 or even in 6.4 we have a, a ready script from Avaya which we can use either for the testing or you can even you can use the same script for your production uh, IVR I mean regarding uh, depending on your on your customer requirement for so just to quick test uh, your IVR or your incoming call is is happening and your 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 installation is smooth uh, I'm just going to this, this is the test or the customer service at uh, the default uh, script we have from Avaya it does all the out of service checking the the date and time whether it is a holiday or not and then it comes here and prompt thank you for calling XYZ and then it takes from the skill 1 skill 2 so if you remember we have skill uh, this agent has have two skill skill one skill two so this is where our agent gonna be logged in on the skill one and skill two so make sure it is it is activated it is activate if it is not you need to activate this script so that means this uh, script is ready to be to be assigned secondly what we need to do we need to open the master script so what master script is so every call you call it enters to the master script and from there it carries the call to the to the uh, uh, appropriate or to the to the uh, to the script what is meant for so as i said this is our cdn uh, samples cdn which is 3000 so we are telling telling the the master script if anybody dials 3000 of any call comes from the uh, CDN 3000 
it should route my call to this script or to this application which is customer services so we are apparently gonna dial this IVR or this uh, script from the phone all right so uh, once you assign make sure you make it save I, I have already done it so that's why I can't save it so we just quickly gonna minimize this one minimize this one so uh, uh, secondly what you need to do you need to quickly grab your IP office communicator if you don't have the hard phone so since I don't have a hard phone so I had to use the Avaya communicator so, and I logged in as a uh, extension 100 which I have it, which I have configured here uh, extension 100 okay and I have another extension which is 200 from where we gonna generate the call all right and secondly what you need to do you need to quickly grab your CCT ref client so from where you get the ref ref client it's like a soft console and you go to the D drive of via contact center CCT and the ref client so I already copied on my on my desktop and once I launched you need to make sure it is uh, uh, correctly pointing to the uh, to the server in my case I am doing it from the same server to it is a local host that's fine and then you need to click on the connect as and here you're gonna define the agent ID which is 100 in our case and always make sure your agent ID and the extension has to be same you cannot have a different agent ID with the different extension number so this is my agent ID and this is the domain means uh, uh, my my ACCS server you can put IP or you can put the domain name or you can put the server name that's fine if you have a domain uh, you need to assign your domain name here and then you need to assign the password since we are using the local user that's why we are defining the local ACCS server IP or the host name obviously if you're gonna have the domain the proper domain Microsoft domain then you're gonna you're gonna use the uh, your own uh, domain name so we're gonna assign the uh, uh, enter the password click OK then as you can see I'm logged in uh, at the moment you can you can ignore this message device not supported because I'm logged in on the soft phone if I was logged in on the hard phone you would not be seeing this message and uh, that's why uh, the reason it is showing this message because you cannot have the you cannot do the call control from the ref client because the wire communicator I guess it doesn't allow any third party or the second software to control the uh, CTA con call control feature and then what you need to do you need to log in and make sure your state is ready and yes we are logged in and uh, as an agent so we are ready to accept the call that's mean the our IVR or the our call flow will see the the application or services are in service the and because one of the agent is logged in so if nobody is logged in your call will not go through because nobody is logged in to take the call so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do a quick call I have my other communicator here so as I said I'm gonna dial my CDN number which you which gonna hit uh, to the SIP extension if you can I'm sure you're gonna to speak to an agent at the help desk yeah. Press 2 to speak to an agent in the support so center. Let, let me just quickly dial Press. again because I couldn't hear the whole prompt. Yeah. Welcome to the contact center. Press so 1 to speak to an agent. So we have successfully the uh, dialed the IVR number, the CDN center. number. Press 3 to enter your PIN number. And or I'm going to dial 1 to reach the Press customer service, the I think. Press so I dialed 1. Now it is calling my yeah. As you can see, uh, I have a call approaching me, 
and from the extension uh, 200 obviously if you have a production IVR you will see your, your customer number with the domain name and I have a notification here as I told you earlier I cannot answer the call because it does not allow me to have the call control feature so I need to answer from here alright uh, the call is answered and the agent status is busy I'm not ready because it's on the call and I will disconnect the call so it has gone to the not ready state I don't know why I need to check on that but uh, as I said this is because of the I don't have a proper hardware phone and I cannot tell you right now why it, why it has gone to the not ready state I need to check on that but yeah uh, this is how it works and this is how you can after the installation you can do a quick check of your IVR of your installation of your configuration just to make sure things are fine so you can start building your call center with the agents call flow and uh, with respect to the all the features what customer is looking for so I hope you like the video and if you have any concerns if you have anything in your mind please do not hesitate to ask me I will be more happy I'll be glad to to reply you on that uh, thank you so much